Hey, what's up guys? With yesterday's release of patch 2.0, a lot of exotic armor got updated. The Skull of Diarm Kara is one of them, which is going to be what this video is about. The Skull of Diarm Kara has its exotic perk Actual Grandeur, provides additional damage resistance while in the Nova Bomb animation, and Nova Bomb kills restore super energy. First off, in this video, I will be testing this out with Bottom Tree, the Devour Tree, in terms of survivability, and later on with the Top Tree, which as well got updated and I will be having a look into the update of that as well. Let's get into it and see actually how good this exotic is, and I can promise you, you will be very surprised about the outcome. For the first test, I went ahead and checked out how this actually plays out in a regular play on patrol against, for example, a public event right here on Titan. So like I said, I am using bottom tree, and you can see right here all these enemies start spawning, so I was like, let's see how far I can bunch these up and see how much super I get back. And you see right here from four thralls and a curse thrall, I got nearly my entire super back. The major the actual boss spawns, I go ahead and do the same thing again. And there it kills like three thrall, barely. Actually it was only two, and it's still around 30% of my super. This change is quite massive, and I'm extremely surprised on how strong this exotic actually is. Since those were only a small amount of enemies, I went ahead and wanted to test this against bigger groups and started a level 1 escalation protocol. I start bunching up all these Thrall, Nova Bomb quite a good group of them, and here you see I get my full super back instantly. Once again, group them all up, it's even a few less it looks like than before, and I get my super back. Once again the same thing and it, you can just keep doing this over and over as long as there's enough enemies around you. On top of that keep in mind you do have a higher resistance in terms of incoming damage while you are in the animation. Giving you the ability to actually play really offensive with this and get the full use out of this. Later on during the EP, I went ahead and checked out how this is going to do against majors and for example a few acolytes around by activating this shadow rift. You see right here I killed two acolytes, which is around 30% of my super and the major is already pretty much dead. It is not made to one shot the major, that is not the point about this. It is the point you just use it in order to pretty much take out a major and on top of that you just gain super energy for free. Now as the next step, I actually wanted to determine how many enemies it takes in order to get your super back. So I went ahead and got into this lost sector. And right here, I kill around 6 enemies with my Nova Bomb, which gives me around 90% of my super back. Keep in mind, these are all low tier enemies, such as Red Bars. Meanwhile, the Red Bar Knight counts as a higher tier enemy than the Acolytes. Afterwards, I go ahead and kill a few of these, and I already have my super back. Within using it and maybe 20 seconds of killing enemies, I am already fully charged. Now, like I said, I wanted to test this as well with Top Tree. I wanted to compare if maybe Cataclysm is a lot better. Right here, I tried to bunch these enemies up a bit for the purpose of testing. And you can see, I only killed like 4 or 5 enemies. But they were actually not really grouped up that well. And I still got a lot of super back. I personally think the use of Top Tree right here is really, really good. Because like I already said, it does split into multiple projectiles. Another use of this in general will always be strikes and just general play like I mentioned as well as patrols. So for example here in the beginning of the Pyramidion strike, you see this group of enemies spawning at the end of the entrance. And I actually get as well once again a decent amount of super bag by barely killing one major and two goblins. In terms of raids, I think personally the best use you can find for this is going to be Argo. There's currently a nerf slash buff going on for Orpheus rigs, which will be a video later on in the week. But either way, in Argos it is all about clearing enemies out in order to be able to damage them properly and not get melted by enemies. In this scenario on a void side, I went ahead and planted two craniums and was fully by myself. And you can see right here using Cataclysm Nova Bomb with the additional resistance, I can easily just go ahead, jump up front, activate it and just instantly get my super back. As long as there's once again enough enemies, you can just keep doing this over and over and over again. And now imagine if you do this in a fire team where your teammates will be creating orbs as well, which I think is the amazing thing about this, you do not have to have only a tether anymore to clear out these enemies. So why do I say top tree for great clearing ability? The top tree got updated. Top tree has the ability to overcharge grenades, 
and the overcharging grenades before this update did actually not use to buff its damage now i went ahead and tested this out once again in this last sector in terms of numbers first off just a regular grenade not overcharged or anything non-overcharged grenade does hit on impact for 1093 meanwhile it's tick on full damage when the enemy is fully in it is for 988 and of course you have some bloom numbers around it then i went ahead and tested the same thing again with overcharging the grenade where the important note is that it doesn't matter anymore how long you overcharge it considering as well it doesn't take any super energy anymore in order to buff its damage and size so of course once again back into the lost sector for the same enemies to test and you can see right here the impact damage of the grenade is 1355 meanwhile the impact kill hits for 2673 immediately and the damage over time is 1550 meanwhile keep in mind overcharging the grenade increases its size and like you just saw on top of that its damage so both these changes combined actually multiply pretty much with each other and make the grenade better than you would expect it to be. So let's have a look at the numbers and see how big the actual benefits are. The actual impact damage gets increased by 23%. Meanwhile, the damage over time gets a 56% damage increase. I think that is a great change considering the vortex grenade in this scenario is all about its damage over time, less about the impact, making it a very strong aerial grenade, even stronger than it was already before. So let's sum this all up and get my personal opinion out there. First off, I think this exotic change right here makes this helmet easily one of the best 5 exotics on a warlock to use and definitely puts it a lot more into use for myself, so you will be catching me using this a lot. This change for this exotic helmet makes it pretty much obsidian mine from Destiny 1 if you guys remember and at the same time because of that gives it great clearing ability what can be combined with either devour and great survivability or go straight up just for ad clear and aggressive play by using top tree. To sum it up in terms of how many enemies you need in order to get your super back it is either 7 red bar enemies or 4 red bars and 1 yellow bar or one red bar and two yellow bars that right there gives it great opportunities in general play raids strikes and anything like that to get either your full super or just even a quite big chunk back like i said i think this change is amazing if you do want to see a full-on breakdown about top versus bottom tree nova bomb let me know in the comments down below but this is going to do it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one